Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see Microsoft Project full course of 2024, 23-24 version. And also we will have practice files also to practice you. Okay. So in this we are going to see our introduction and how to create a project and how to enter the activities and about the calendar. How to create a WBS. WBS means work breakdowning structure and how to link the activities and how to schedule schedule a project and also how to save the project now we are going to see in this video so before that so this is my youtube channel right so in this so if you so here we have microsoft project day one class so you can go through this also so in this also I have explained more about the topics and also those who wants to learn Primavera so here it is so here so here our full course is we have same uh, we have project files also you can go through that so Primavera P6 or you can go with playlist you can go through the playlist and here you can check out the full videos okay for Microsoft project and also Primavera full video full course videos okay and also if you want interested in like AutoCAD, Revit, 3ds Max also we have all the playlist here you can go through and check it out and also you have demo sessions so demo videos also we have and you can go through this and now we'll get started so before that uh, my request is to follow me in Facebook also so name same name uh, Cat Focus Manjanath so this is a Facebook page you can just follow me in Facebook also okay so and also you can follow me in Instagram for supporting our channel okay now we get started so first we need to open the Microsoft project okay like this the software interface it looks like this and here you need to select a blank project so this is my blank project so click on the blank project so here you will get a software interface like this so this is my entry table and this is a bar chart right and this is my all ribbons and task a task menu resource menu like this we have now we will see first topic so first we have finished introduction now we have uh, how to create a project just now we have selected the project template now what we have to do we need to enter the activities so we need to enter activities uh, I will just close this project 3 now so this is my project 1 so project 1 I am giving my name and here so I will show you some projects so these are the projects so uh, renovation of residential building same project uh, explained in Primavera also you can go through that also so this is my WBS level 1 and WBS level 2 and activities and also here we have another project so of construction project itself you can go through the, we will check it out this also and this so first we'll see one example project then you can understand so what is uh, activities and all so now here I will enter so uh, just now we'll see capital A and this is my uh, I will I'm entering a uh, small letter A1 and small letter A2 and small letter A3 A4 and here I am going to enter capital letter B I will tell you what is the reason why I am doing like this of activities so small cap B1 and B2 and B3 and B4 and now capital C C1 C2 and C3 okay now at last I am going to end of the project EOP end of the project our duration will be 0 it should be in a 0 ok now what we did we just entered the 
activity or task name okay this is my a1 is my task name activity and a2 a3 a4 and b1 b2 b3 b4 c1 c2 c3 is my activities okay and capital a capital b capital c is my work breakdown in structures work breakdown in structure that we need to create now in this okay so first uh, what we did we created project activities now we need to assign the calendar okay so it for scheduling purpose we need a calendar okay so to assign the calendars go to the project and here we have a change working time so here we can find out the calendar types if you drop down this we will have standard types of calendars like 24 hours night shift and day shift day shift is nothing but standard so in this we will have five days of working days and saturday and sunday is my uh, off okay so this is the standard calendar which i am going to apply now so if you want to create or customize we can go with create new calendar option also that we will see now okay so just click on ok option so after creating this we need to enter enter the uh, duration for the activities okay so we need to enter uh, duration for activities so now capital letter a capital letter b and capital letter c is my main task okay and this is my small a and small in uh, these are my sub sub task or we call it as uh, activities so for the activities we need to enter the durations okay so for this i am going to entering the activities so it will be same so i will change the duration and also for this okay so now what I, we did so we just entered a project name and for that uh, this is a project one and a and a b and c is my main wbs okay so now we just entered we need to create wbs now so to create WBS, uh, just select all the task, select all the task, Alt Shift and right arrow. So that is a shortcut key. Okay. So like this, we can create our WBS. Now again, once again, I will repeat. So select all the activities, Alt Shift and right arrow. Okay. So this is, this is for our activities so like this we need to create the main uh, wbs okay so work breakdown in the structure so uh, so that entire part again we need to link to the main project okay for that also same command alt plus shift plus right arrow okay now what we did uh, just see now we can understand so this is what we did now so what this is my project name and capital letter A, capital B and capital C is my main WBS. Okay. Main WBS. In that again we have activities like this. A1, A2, A3 and A4. B1, B2, B3 is my uh, main uh, sorry uh, sub activities. Now we understand right. So like this we need to create our project. Now what we have to do means. So first we will check out the content. So what we did. So how to enter the activities and about the calendar. So calendar, I think uh, once again, we'll check it out about the calendar. So go to the project project menu in that uh, change working time. So here is my calendar, right? So I'm going to select standard project calendar. So Monday to Friday is my working day. Saturday, Sunday is my off. And also we we'll check it out in file menu. Go to the options of option and in that schedule here, you can find out the timings default start time and end time and hours per day so if you want to change we can change here okay otherwise you can just go to ok option so this is what our calendar to the main project and now what we have to do so after that we need to create a wbs we did our wbs also now next what we have to do so that uh, activity link activities to link the activities 
सो सेलेक्ट ऑल द एक्टिविटीज एंड होल्ड शिफ्ट की एंड लास्ट सेलेक्ट द एक्टिविटीज लाइक दिस एंड गो टू द टास्क मेनू एंड क्लिक ऑन द लिंक एक्टिविटी ओके नाउ आवर एंटायर रिलेशनशिप्स विल बी एडेड ओके सो लाइक दिस वी कैन लिंक अवर प्रोजेक्ट एंड नाउ सेलेक्ट ऑल द प्रोजेक्ट एंड गो टू द ऑटो शेड्यूल देन इट विल बी शेड्यूल्ड now here you can find out so this is the so let's see here if you minimize or you can collapse so project 1 is for 16 days duration and start date will be monday 4th uh, 12 2023 and finish is by 25th 12 and 2023 okay so if you have more number of activities then you can extend up to 2024 so for one project uh, we can have limit of uh, 30 to 45 days like that for small projects small works okay so like this we can create okay so you have uh, understand right so what is a project and what is wbs and how to enter that and how to create that so now we'll see about uh, schedule we have seen about schedule part also right now we'll go for a direct one project then you can understand more details so in that uh, we have so this is my first first project and this is second project and this is third project and this is fourth project for example so in primavera also i have created this project same i have explained i will explain here also okay so here a renovation of residential building is my project name and exterior renovation and interior renovation is my level 1 wbs and landscaping and painting flooring and interior decor is my wbs level 2 and activity is this are by uh, activity right this i need to create in microsoft project so how to do that means so already i have uh, entered the data sets so here it is see so in previous what we did same uh, we need to enter this and do like this okay i will explain you now see so first what we did so uh, just uh, go to the interior renovation and exterior renovation and to the main project now see so project name is renovation of residential building in that exterior renovation and interior renovation so what we want a uh, wbs of exterior renovation and interior renovation we have created after that what we we have to do so a uh, wbs level 2 landscaping and painting flooring and interior decoration so that we need to create already i have created i will show you now see like this so landscaping painting work we did and also in that flooring and interior decoration we did right you have understand right now now these are the activities under landscaping level the land lay flooring the tile artificial glass so this under the landscaping if you drop down this level the land lay flooring tile artificial grass so like this we have to create okay so you have understand right now so how to create each and every project and same process will be repeated for entire project see here also same duration is 14 days and start date and finish date okay so if you if we minimize this we will get in depth so if you want to see activities also just click on this arrows here we can find out the to the entire object okay now here we cannot see the wbs so already we have created but if i want to see the wbs click on any one column right click the mouse and go to the insert column in that insert option we need to select wbs option so we need to search for wbs here it is so wbs so this is my wbs names okay so rrb is nothing but renovation of residential building 1 so once again i will just minimize this you can understand easily so you can understand see 1 1.a 1.b so this is my wbs names so like this we need to assign to the project okay so now uh, if you want to see the predecessors predecessors you can just unhide this 
and also this see like this if I link to the project automatically this going to be uh, uh, predecessors will be predecessors will be applied okay now we have seen the topics introduction how to create the project and enter the activities calendar WS activity scheduling of project and now if you want to save the project same uh, just select uh, control plus s control plus s to save the project or you can go to the file menu and here you have an option called save as go to the this PC and select the path so enter the name which uh, you wanted and also click on the project save as type and go to the save option so like this we can save our project okay and see here we have a time scale so in the above bar we can observe so in, it has been highlighted in green color so this is our time scale if we can uh, adjust that so according to that you can observe in bar graph so that uh, you can have a look in this see like this it will be uh, useful for this I think you have understand right same process will be repeated for next projects okay so next projects so deliver based WBS for construction project so if you want to uh, create you can go through this uh, you can practice I will attach these files in my description you can check it out or you can take a snap of this a screenshot and you can also practice this okay so I think if you if anybody interested to join the course live uh, classes in through online so you can directly contact to me so this is my whatsapp number you can message me or you can directly ping me and also this is my mail id so you can reach out me and for the duration course and fees so you can contact for me okay so if you like the video and do subscribe my youtube channel and thanks for watching and also click on the bell icon for regular notifications